Hey guys, Breach here and I'm bringing you the next episode of Breach's Big Game Hunter. Today we're taking on Hyperius the Invincible. And yeah, fight's already started a little bit. I uh, We were farming up some Seraph Crystals and I thought, you know what? Might as well turn this into an episode since it's going down so quickly. But Hyperius the Invincible. He had been a particular problem since the patch of the B-Shield. Now, what you're going to see here is... A Gunzerker, a Siren, and an Assassin all taking him down. But, even though the B-Shield got nerfed, we found a better little exploit for him. You see, the Sandhawk, whenever you're shooting at him and he has robots doing the shields, penetrates the shield on him. So, even when he's got his shield up, you're going to be doing millions of damage per hit which is going to help make a giant dent in his health. Now the main problem with this guy when you're using B shields though is those Nova Blasts that he puts off. Because the first one is going to knock down your shield, second one should knock out your health. If you run an Assassin, after the first Nova Blast go into Deception, and if you're Spectrite, you should have the, uh, it's in the Cunning skill tree, it'll heal you while you're Decepting. And that should help keep you alive through the second Nova Blast. Now you're also going to want to go all the way down the Cunning Tree so you can have the Kunai put the Death Mark on him for you and get an extra 20% damage. Possibly slag him just ever so briefly, but it can be enough. Now the Sandhawk with the B, deadly combo. I know I, know I preach Sandhawk, 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 but you're seeing what I'm doing with a level 30 Sandhawk to all of these Invincibles. It's only a matter of time before... Uh, Gearbox goes and patches that along with the B for rebalancing. So do it while you can. Farm up those Seraph Crystals, grab a few friends, have a little bit of fun. We uh, we went back and tried this with two people using B Sandhawks and one Siren to pick them up if they fall. And somehow we glitched out his AI so that he didn't even fire off Nova Blast until he was at his big hopping around going ape shit phase. And you'll see, he's still got his shield up from the robots. So we're just pumping bullets into him with the, with the uh, Sandhawk here and taking him down bit by bit. Now, he doesn't drop the greatest loot, but he's also been one of the hardest bosses to deal with since the nerf of the B-Shield. But as you'll see right there, he goes down just fine. We get some Seraph Crystals out of it. I think we only got like three or four this time around. And no real rares to speak of. Um, I don't know if... Well, the way we're spec'd, we can't really take on... Put on our plus 5% health relic... Or plus 5% rare loot relic. Having to do some health relics to uh, survive the two Nova Blasts. But as soon as you kill him, go deal with his robot minions. I have a Corrosive Sandhawk for them. The Corrosive somehow doesn't bypass a shield the way that just a plain vanilla Sandhawk does. So I would suggest not using elemental guns on him when he's in that phase, so you can get the most bang for your buck out of it. Transfusion grenades, always nice, help out your team. And then we're going to get a nice little look at some of the crappy little loot that he drops. And uh, yeah, just sharing is caring. Make sure you spread the loot around. And if you guys are having trouble with this guy, pair up with a Siren to help pick you up. Our Siren has the Hoplite shield on for this battle so that he can survive as many of the Nova Bla or his uh, Nova Blasts as he wants to put out. But you guys can do this too fairly easily with just a little bit of work. And uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say about Hyperius. Big dude went down fast. I think in the second time we got him down, we beat him in like a minute and a half. I forgot that I wasn't recording until 30 seconds into the fight on the second time, and he was already down at half health. And I'm like, eh, don't, don't want to bother going back and doing it now. So I stuck with the recording that I started halfway through with, uh, I think it's Be Beast and Jester in this one. But if you guys have any other tips, any other combinations that you think just absolutely break the game the way this does... Let me know. I'm going to be following this up with another video that shows you just why the Sandhawk happens to uh, bypass his shields. Or at least why, in my opinion, because of the way that it and other guns are coded. 
So, if you guys enjoyed, I would much appreciate a like, a favorite, a comment. If you didn't, let me know what you didn't like. You know, feedback. It's it's better to give something constructive than to just throw a dislike on a video and run away like a little coward. It's my opinion. But you guys have a good one, and uh, yeah, have fun checking out the stuff that we have and are spreading around.